old people. How's it going? It's Dark Cloud 247 here. I recently bought one of these CNC's. It's a 60 by 40. It's by CNCS. Uh, cut long story short, uh, the, BDF, the, the VFD settings basically got uh, messed with by myself. I'd like to blame my children, but it was me. <laughs> and uh, yeah, for the love nor money, could I basically find them. Uh, I found a few bits about it and so on and so forth but there was none specific but in the end I found BDF settings that had been corrected and they're actually for four axis but they work fine on this three axis and this is 240 volt. <coughs> By the way this isn't a 110 so I just wanted to share them because I struggled like mad getting them so if I can save one person from the same heartache as myself, then it's all good. Because it gets expensive. There's a spindle or burnt out because I put the wrong settings in. Yep, that was costly. You can see I've got a nice replacement. Works all fine now, now that I've sorted everything out. All right, anyway, less of the uh, gabber. And let's have a little look at this top part I actually stole from uh, Chimera 1960 which was extremely helpful so I just wanted to get his name out there because he's obviously doing some good work on CNC zone All right so that's your basics that's how to reset your VFD for that particular machine just keep an eye just so that people can obviously pause it and stuff. Now, before you start putting the settings in, obviously once you reset the whole thing, which it says there, you're going to have to redo the um, set D001 to 1. That allows you to change the settings, because if you don't do that before, you won't be able to change nothing and it's just frustrating. I mean, I came and I've learnt this all from bloody scratch. It's killed my brain but in the same time, the uh, learning curve has been amazing. And because I'm a glutton for punishment, I also decided to uh, get myself a 3D printer and a laser cutter and all the uh, coding and stuff that was in it was all wrong so never touched anything like that in my life but I managed to sort it all out through time and patience but yeah these are the correct VDF settings you have to excuse me uh, video shit I don't really care like I said as long as it gets one person out of this shit or makes things a little bit clearer that's all I care about so I'll just keep going through these yeah and then when I ordered my new spindle obviously that was wired different to the other one I had to figure out all of that because unfortunately the people that supply these don't really do a good job with the manuals because they're trying to translate to English and the translation isn't that brilliant but hell that's life in it I like a challenge now towards the end some of these numbers you can't change a lot of them you can, but there's I think there's about three or four that you can't. Don't worry about it. I think it's got a funny, I've got a funny feeling that it's to do with the uh, fourth axis. But again, if you're looking to just get your machine up and running with a spindle, this is what you need. You may have to change the odd little thing to get it to run with. Um, program that you're using 
but that should get it up and running manually. Oh, on that note, people, I'll stop boring you to death. Hope it helps.